In this video, we're gonna set you up with your very own MetaMask cryptocurrency wallet. This is where you're gonna store that cryptocurrency, but also your NFTs as you start to collect more and more of them. The Rugby Bricks NFTs live on a platform called OpenSea, which we're gonna have a look at right now. This here is the website called OpenSea. The link below is in the description. It will take you straight to this homepage. The first thing that we're going to do is have a look for the Rugby Bricks NFT. So in the search bar, I'm going to type in Rugby Bricks and see what comes up. I'm going to click on the Rugby Bricks Gold Rare Midcut 001. Now I actually own this NFT, as you can see here, owned by Peter's NFT. That's me. It's had 34 views. Five people have made it one of their favorites. The NFT is sitting there, so as you can see, you can search for any different styles or brands on this platform called OpenSea. We're going to head back now to the home page just by clicking the OpenSea up here in the top left, and we're back on the home page. The first thing we want to do is click this button here, Create. Now, MetaMask is the wallet that we're going to set up. Everyone needs a cryptocurrency wallet so that will hold your cryptocurrency and also somewhere that you can store your NFT. So MetaMask works alongside OpenSea, so we're going to click Get MetaMask. Now we need to install this on our computer. I highly recommend using Chrome. For me, it works really well. It's really smooth and the extension on the desktop works really well. So install MetaMask for Chrome. Then it'll take you to this screen if you want to watch this video, what is a MetaMask to learn a little bit more about the wallets and why they're really important, you can. I'm gonna click on this right button here, so add to Chrome. It's gonna add it as an extension. We get the pop-up to add the extension. Instead of cancel, I'm gonna go add extension. Once that is loaded, we get presented with this page. I really love the little feature here where the logo follows the mouse around the page and we want to get started. Now chances are you haven't already got a MetaMask wallet or you wouldn't be watching this video. So if you do have one, you can import the wallet, but we want to create a new wallet. So create a wallet, let's click on that. This page just gives us a little bit more information about the do's and don'ts around MetaMask and we can click I agree. From here, you'll enter your password, make sure that it's personal and not too simple, and we also write it down somewhere else. Once you have confirmed your password, make sure you read the terms of use and then click oh, I've read and agreed to the terms of use. Create. We're now gonna get into using a recovery phrase to help protect your wallet, and there's a video on here that'll explain a little bit more about it. All we need to do for now is click next, and this is the most important part of the whole process, secret backup phrase. So you can see here that this image is blurred out and covered by a lock. If I click on this to reveal the secret words, you can see here that I've got 12 individualized words that are going to help protect my wallet. Now I need to write these down on a page of paper and store them away in a safe location. When hackers hack into your computer or get your phone, um, they'll be looking for these 12 words. Also, if you were to just to lose your phone and you just had it saved in your notes or just had a screenshot, then you've lost that way to get back into your wallet. So you, these 12 words are really important. Make sure that you write them down on a page of paper. I'm going to write these down now, and then when we go to the next page, we need to re-enter them so we can get into the wallet. It is really important that you don't just copy and paste them and then forget about them. You need these words moving forward. If you think about your wallet and if your digital assets and NFTs grow, you're really going to want to protect this. And also as it grows in value, you don't want to lose a phone and then lose the wallet. So we can see here that the first word is assume and then maximum. So they're the first two words. When we go to next, you can see that the 12 words down the bottom here, I need to click on them so that they populate in that exact same order. So let's go through it now. The first one was assume, so I click on that, then maximum, and then go through the 12 words, enter them all in now. As you can see here, I've entered 11 of the 12 words. You can see that I can't click the confirm button until I've got the order right and have all 12 words there. So I click on tomato and then we can see there that confirm comes up. I'm going to click on confirm now and we get the congratulations page. So all done. Click on that. Now this takes us to our wallet, we're set up, we're good to go, we can see here that we've got no money in the account which is absolutely fine for a start. I'm going to click on these three dots, I think it's important when you first get your wallet that you name it and call it something that you're happy with. I'm going to go Peter's NFTs and click on that button there. So now when I go back into the home page I can see Peter's NFTs. So one of the really common cryptocurrencies is Ethereum, and we can see it here, ETH, E-T-H. Ethereum is something that we can use to purchase these NFTs and as a cryptocurrency. I'm now gonna show you how to add ETH. 
So all we need to do is click on buy and we can see here different options come up. I've used continue to wire quite a lot. It's really reliable and I've never had an issue so I'm going to use that one today. So we then get taken to a page that looks pretty familiar. We've got Apple Pay, a card payment. This is how we're going to add Ethereum to our wallet. We can change this amount to $10. We can change it to $500 and this is how we can add a payment. All you need to do is go through and enter your credit card details and that amount will get added to your wallet. I'm not going to add any Ethereum to this wallet today, this is just for demonstrational purposes, but if you are wanting to receive an NFT, so we just recently ran a sale where we had 10 winners, where we sent out 10 of the gold rare cards, and what you needed to do is send us this address here, so copy to clipboard, that is your address where people can send you NFTs or even send you cryptocurrencies, that address there, you can copy it and now it's copied, you can send it an email or a format anyway to your friends uh, so that they can send you tokens or NFTs. The last part of this is just now using our MetaMask wallet and installing that on OpenSea so that they can work together and you can see your MetaMask account on OpenSea. So your extensions all lie up in here, that little jigsaw puzzle, you can click on that and you can see here that I've clicked on the pin to pin MetaMask in here in the extensions. So all we're going to do is go to this wallet, click on the wallet and click on MetaMask. We can see here that this is Peter's NFTs, remember that we named our wallet and we want to go next. OpenSea is now asking to connect Peter's NFT and we do want to do this so let's go connect. Now we're back on the homepage and we can see now when we click on the wallet that there's zero money in the wallet so we won't be able to purchase anything but we can still get around OpenSea, check out all the different NFTs and go from there. So once you've set up your MetaMask account, definitely jump on OpenSea, check out all the rugby bricks, the different NFTs, there is a common card and a gold rare card, you'll be able to see those just by searching for them. So I hope that this video has helped, make sure you go through, follow all the steps and you'll be able to set up your MetaMask account.